Let me put you on game. Don't listen to people who lose, or you'll do the same. Stop talking to people who don't give a fuck what you're saying. Stop spending your money on weed, go hop on a plane. Stop pointing the finger and start taking some of the blame. Let me put you on game. The money is up and it's down, it's just how it goes. Everyone's going through something. What up, though? What's cracking with all of my beautiful and my handsome collective out there? I hope every one of every zodiac sign is doing well. So we'll get into some messages, you guys, and see what it is that Spirit wants you to know. If anything resonates, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. Let your girl Blue Flame know what's going on. If you are interested in a personal, my information, you guys, will be in the description box below. All right. So right now, I feel like some of you guys, you're kind of longing. I feel like you're longing to be around more like-minded people. Some of you could be in kind of hermit mode. Maybe you're spending time to yourself trying to figure some things out but it's like you're really wanting to connect with some people right now and you want to connect with people who are more like you okay i feel like you're longing for home your soul is longing you're belonging you're longing to belong you know what i'm saying to a group of people that's like you you know some of you may feel like an outsider kind of feel like you know we don't try to fit in but you know you kind of always feel like you was different like you never kind of fit in you kind of went to the beat of your own drum here and I feel like it's because you are a light worker here, okay? You're here to to shine light up on the earth, shine, shine light up on people's worlds here. But it seems like, seem like us light workers and, you know, us earth angels, like we go through the most sometimes. All right, so let's look at this card right here. I'm trying to find it. Okay, so you can be a mentikin. I guess that's how you say this. And this means that you're longing, okay, for a sense of belonging. And your root chakra healing is necessary for you to feel safe and secure. So maybe you don't feel safe and secure within your home or foundation or stability or something around you here. But what you're really longing for is to connect with your soul family. And right now you're being asked to call in your tribe. And you don't have to do it alone, okay? These are your ancestors, spirit guides, people around you. Like these are physical beings. Who will be here with you okay the physical beings and the beings that are not here on the 3d plane with us okay but these are your soul tribe and i feel like some of you guys you're longing to belong you know what i'm saying to a group of people that's just like you and there's nothing wrong with it i went through that as well it was like okay even my friends and stuff you know that i did have it was like i wasn't connecting with them it was like the things that we were doing i didn't want to do that shit no more like i was looking for people that was more like me and thought like me and wanted to do things like me and you know, of that nature, and there's nothing wrong with it. And just call and ask Holy Spirit to bless you with your soul tribe, and they will come in, okay? I met someone I feel like a part that's, that's a member of my soul tribe. You know, we kind of connect on a different level, and it's nice to have someone who understands you because understanding is everything, okay? So let's pull this little bit of tarot, y'all, and let's see what it is that Spirit wants you to know. Messages for the collective. All right. All right, so you are being called to stand your ground, okay? Possibly set some type of boundary. This is Seven of Wands energy. So you're being called to stand your ground, possibly set some, some type of healthy boundaries here between you and someone else, okay? You could be being tested and challenged. This could be the energy that you're in. You feel like something is a challenge here. There may be people in business, career, but I feel like you're you're being tested right now. And Spirit is wanting you to have inner courage to stand your ground, no matter how hard things may be. Okay, don't surrender. Don't give up control. Don't allow these people to control you. Don't allow these people to get in your head because I feel like whatever this situation is, it's causing a lot of mental conflict, okay? So this could be possibly about you maybe needing to set some type of boundaries with someone, okay? Because something has possibly you all in your head here. Or maybe you're going to need some type of spiritual strength, okay? And this isn't talking about physical strength. This ain't going to the gym and, you know what I'm saying, getting your weight up. This is talking about, this represents courage, discipline, stability, and persistence. You may be tired or weary from the struggle and everything that you've been going through, but this is not the time to throw in the towel, baby. This is not the time to give up, okay? I feel like you're being called to make that one final push so that you can achieve this desired outcome that you're wanting. So you can be seeing 777-222-999. You can look up angel number 7229. 
I feel like this is a time of reflection to bring some type of balance in your life, possibly some type of ending here as well. Tell us more, Holy Spirit. Messages for my collective. All right, this will have to do with the relationship here, okay? This is where, this is like an ace of cups. So this could have been like a situation, a new relationship, or, you know, someone that you had dealt with, a situation having to do with love. This could have been a job you love. But something in here to do with this new beginning. Let's look at this. All right, so right now, your cup may not be filled over right now, okay? Maybe you feel like some of you guys, your cup is empty. You ain't got nothing else to pour, okay? You don't feel happy. You damn sure don't feel any positive changes. I feel like for some of you, maybe self-love. Maybe you're being called to pour into yourself right now. Maybe you've been pouring a lot into other people. I feel like some of you have some past issues to resolve with yourself, but also in a connection here. Give me a second. This could have been a situation to where you feel this is where love was going to begin. You know what I'm saying? But it didn't turn into that. Maybe right now you're very emotionally sensitive. Like, you know, small things that wouldn't normally get you upset and make you mad. Like, it's kind of fucking with you right now. Okay? The moon is in Scorpio. So you can be heavily feeling this Scorpio energy. Okay? You may have Scorpio placements in your chart. Or you can just be someone who the moon cycles really do affect you, okay? This talks about feeling sad, empty, frustrated. Maybe there's some unexpressed feelings, like there's been something that you want to say, or maybe you feel like there's something that someone here wants to say to you, but they're refusing to express their heart here. Tell us more, Holy Spirit. Messages for my collective. Tell us more. Yeah, this has to do with foundations and achievement. Like, this is someone, this is heavy fire energy. This could have been a connection that had a lot of chemistry, a lot of passion, you know. But it says what you've been building is now firmly established with a strong, solid foundation. But I feel like for some of you, you had to build that, that solid foundation, foundation within yourself. Maybe you were looking or thinking you were going to build this foundation with someone else, but that didn't happen, okay? This is an opportunity for you to work on building a foundation and building security and stability for you and your family or you and your kids, okay? Reaping what you've sown and you've been setting good intentions and being high vibrational at this time, you're going to get back what you've sown here, okay? This is like a universal blessing. This is giving and receiving. Yes, come on through spirit. This celebration, peace, and prosperity. For some of you, you can be getting married. This talks about buying a, a piece of land or a new home. So I feel like for some of you, there was a situation surrounding love that had to end. But even though that situation ended, it still brought in a lot of stability into your life. It really made you more stable and more secure within yourself, you know, and, and working on this foundation for you and your family here. Okay. Let's get one more. Messages for my collective. Yeah, awareness. Yes. Come on through, Spirit. And I feel like this is, in, like, intuitively, you, you had a feeling. You knew. You know what I'm saying? Or, or this is talks about maybe you've gone through some type of awakening now. And now you possibly understand why this person was put into your life. It wasn't necessarily for a romantic situation, but to help you, teach you how to be more safe and secure within yourself you know oftentimes people are put on our past child and we put on other people's past and you know we be like what the hell you know because you thinking one thing but later on to find out there wasn't even a whole fucking reason why they were put on your past and i feel like for some of you this is what you're going through okay i feel like you're being called to tap in now because you are aware and because you are aware of maybe the the reason you know, why you cross paths with this person. It's like now you can be able to be this person that you want, okay? You can have that partnership that you want. You can manifest this change. You can manifest these desires, okay? You can create your own reality here. It's time to set the motion and watch it grow, okay? Know that you have the power. Maybe it's time for you to start a new project or change careers, but now is the time to have more positive thoughts. Visualize what you want. Say affirmations daily about what you want, okay? I say my money affirmations. I say daily affirmations. I, I say I'm destined to be wealthy. I'm destined to be successful. I'm destined to be in a loving, committed, honest relationship with reciprocity because that's what the fuck I want. 
Now, for some of you, you could have experienced some type of emotional loss. Okay, this could have hurt. Then maybe you have to separate, you know, from this person or to find out the real reason why this person was put into your life and it wasn't for you and them to build this foundation or for you and them to have this life or this future together. Okay, they were here. They were put into your life as a lesson. Okay, for some of you guys, it could have been a karmic. Okay? And this person was put into your life not to cause you this emotional pain. But you know, sometimes, y'all, like I say, you know, people be put in our life for a season. We be trying to keep them from er forever here, you know? Now, some of you, you could be grieving the loss of someone close to you or, you know, someone that you were connected to. But it's time to honor your feelings. It's time to know that it's okay to grieve. It's okay to feel sad. It's okay to have the feelings that you have, but then shake this shit off and then keep it going. You know what I'm saying? Don't stay in that energy. What is that energy going to do? Sitting up here just being sad about it, okay? Use your unique gifts and talents and abilities, okay? Some of you guys, maybe you write, you sing, you do something. That's when you're supposed to tap in. When you feel this emotional loss, you know, a lot of songwriters and, and artists and stuff, you know, that's when they make their best albums. When they go through some type of uh, uh breakup, you know what I'm saying? What's her name? Uh, I can't think of the damn girl. I can see her face. Right? It's not Kate Perry. Uh, they was just talking about her ass. Uh, hold on. Taylor Swift. It just came to me. Taylor Swift. You know, I remember I, I be reading, you know, in the comments, I always be looking at comments and stuff. But, you know, they was like, she always miss, make the best albums or songs, you know, after she experienced a breakup. So, some of you, you're being called to tap in and turn that emotional pain into money, baby. Okay. All right, you guys. So, let's see who this reading is about. I love you. If anything resonated, don't forget to like this video. You can be dealing with Leo, Aquarius, Scorpio, Virgo. We got Taurus, Aquarius, Capricorn, Aries. And we also have Heavy, Scorpio, Libra, and Sag. All right, you guys, I love you. And until next time, stay blessed.